So one, one thing I wanted to point out with the light settings is, <clears throat> which is a huge feature is uh, local exposure. And then um, the ambient light. One thing you'll notice too with, with Twin Motion is um, it tends to have some, some dark, it tends to have some dark corners and ambient lights, dark shadows, dark, dark areas that you need to brighten up. So it's okay to go a little overboard on the ambient lighting and the shadow reduction um, because you do tend to have really dark corners in Twin Motion. You know, if, if you don't crank this up a little bit, you start losing stuff in the shadows. The one, one thing I wanted to point out with the light settings is, <clears throat> which is a huge feature, is uh, local exposure. And so remember what I said before, and I'll turn it off so you guys can see. So before we had local exposure, we didn't have any control over this. And um, what you'll notice, which is what I was saying before, is the, the shadows, I'm going to keep turning on and off, right? The ambient portions of your project, the the uh, any of those areas were just too dark. But the shadow boost is huge because without it, you can see the difference between the shadows and the scene. It's crazy.